We are live, guys. I'm Joe One Foot of the Cyber Nerds. Raven the GS. Sam, Mr. Blitz too. And welcome back to another Bad Batch review. Today we've got episode 14. War Mantled or something like that. Anyway, if you haven't already went on a road to 200,000 subscribers, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a video. Now, I do, I do want to say, usually I would pass it to someone else, and I'm going to do that, but I want to say I'm happy that the Bad Batch series finally started. <laughs> you know, Thank <laughs> baby Jesus. Do you know why it finally started? Why? Because the CyberNerd Sith Temple is now on the CyberNerd's channel. See how that, the force works. See, I saw that. Yes. I did, I t the thing is, yeah, I didn't want it to be like, I didn't want it to always be like the guy who's like, it's us. It's the but yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like me. guys, Star Wars is back on this channel. Yeah, we're, we're back. We we had a brief stint and now yeah. we're back because, you know, algorithms. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, listen, man. Yeah, man, who wants to who wants to start with the, with you the, know with what? the episode? Yeah. I never thought, like, I, I, would, I would ever think about Star Wars series like this. But them man, yeah, watching this, I'm like, yo, you legitly got two teams split up. One is like, yo, how many, first of all, how many episodes is this? Like 20? Ah, oh, uh, oh. so 16, so we got two left of 16? Mm -hmm. I know. You shouldn't have even told me that. Uh, I legit, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, raw. Right, okay, two teams. The first one's giving us fillers, just, just, just to tie up little bits, things that you want to tell us that you care about, that you feel that it's important for us. And then, boom, like, here's the second part of the season where... We're actually telling all the stuff that we've been complaining that we haven't been getting. Where I'm going to have to come in this is I'm just going to be like, unfortunately, Raven, I disagree and you're wrong. I just feel like this is one of the weaker animated shows that they've produced overall. Mm. But as they're going to do, as like, what you see that what usually happens is it's like the earlier episodes just aren't as, as weak as I feel these earlier episodes was. But as we've seen from this episode, like, they can easily turn the switch and give us everything we need. The thing that just upsets me is that I wish everything that we got in this episode just got spread out over, like, and I'm not even saying the whole season. Just three, four episodes earlier, you started peppering these things deeper and, see, like, seasoned it properly. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you put the season on the chicken and you leave it in the fridge for a week and then you come back to it. Then it's inside. It's inside. It's marinated correctly. Because even, even the fact that the visuals... Like the, the the shot, the scene selected for this episode is completely different from what we've been getting. Yeah, it all seemed like it like stepped up a notch. Do you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Like like the beginning, bruv, it has like some sort of like horror type chasing scene, like hunting, bruv. I man ain't seen this during this the, the the whole bad batch. Yeah, you haven't. And you know what I like about it? it's like in this episode you bring in a character that we've met before, but you do it in a way that it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like oh we needed to do this. It's just there and it just makes sense. Also, we sign low sign line Omega. I'm telling you, every episode where Omega is sidelined, the the episode's just better. Thank do you. you know, it's just better. <laughs> yes. Like I don't know why. It's not me, it's just how it is. Simon's like, yes, baby Jesus, it's Simon, let's reach. I totally forgot she was in this episode. And for good reason as well, because everyone else that we've been wanting to watch is at the forefront. Even them getting split up, I was a bit of a shame that Rekha was obviously left to baby Omega. Baby but someone has to, she has to be out. I'm, I'm cool with that, because I'm guessing if they did this throughout the whole season, so I'm babysitting her for one episode and we get the team dynamic with the other three plus maybe um, someone else coming in that would have been sick but the way this whole episode was moving was legitly mad these guys got into a base they're now finding out that they're getting replaced by clones and stuff or by actual soldiers they it's the clones that are training or even front manning these guys that storyline was Ooh. so mad and the fact that one clock's like yo is this what we're doing i'm out <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, and the fact that he's over here preaching like, oh, you men are are uh, um, what do they call, what do they call them? The, the commandos, donkeys. No. Oh, oh, uh, defective. Defective. Oh. It's like, no, nah, these men are defective. Yeah. They want to stay like they're legitimately programming their demise like their their destruction. Hundred percent. And 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 what during the watch along? If you guys want to watch us watch this episode, if you haven't been watching the Bad Batch watch alongs, this is the episode. You want to start. To start with. You get me? But basically, man was like, 
when halfway through the wash along, I'm like, oh, donkeys, because it made That's me. It. When um, Gregor is running away, it made me think of Planet of the Apes and how the humans always had one ape who for whatever reason was on them man's side and that's how i see the clones who were training like the human characters do you know what i'm saying and it's like one thing that should have what this whole series should have been about obviously is clone versus clone war and then obviously the incoming impending doom on the clones because regular people want to mobilize and pledge their allegiance to the empire and they touched on the key thing about the difference between the regular soldiers and the clones. The clones are born and bred to do this thing. Bro. That is their only mission in life. Whereas the human soldiers, the empire are like, we're just going to overwhelm people with numbers. The more we've got, it doesn't matter how good they are, we've just got more. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, this is the dynamic we should have been running with the whole season. And just to hear that there's potentially only two episodes left, and now we're only getting into the me and gritty of this thing. It's dead. And that is not even to talk about what's going on in Camino right now, fam. Oy! Because Camino have understood, yeah, that they've given a... They've pretty much given their, like... They had a... They, they empowered the Empire so deeply now that they are now almost obsolete. Yes. Because the Empire want to go in a different direction. And they would understand leaving Camino active would be the only way to bring them down in the future, yeah? So we're shutting that down. But then even the way they flipped it, where they're like, yo, Prime Minister, nah, we don't need you, <laughs> but we need the brains. Yes. And that's obviously peppering into episode gym. nine, you know what I'm saying? Palpatine clones, the Snow clones, all of this stuff, bruv. Morphology! Oh, you guys did this in one episode. Fam, I, I can't fam. understand. Respect the, us, the man. Fact, the fact that Greg's is like, yo, I taught these men everything. <laughs> I did not. I taught these men, but not everything. Yeah. And if you've been watching Star Wars long enough, there's this issue that there's there's this question. Yo, why can't these men shoot? Bruv, are you dumb? You didn't get taught by the best, bruv. Like, get me. And imagine, like, Gregor teaches them badly, and then one of them becomes the head and you're teaching the next generation yeah, badly, yeah. and like it's like it's just a progress. Like stormtroopers will only ever get worse. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Up until current day, where it's just like yeah, these men are trash. This is how generations get trapped in one thing, isn't it? Like this is, and this is actually a like, real. Bro, yes, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, why? We just, just I just want to understand what was the the reasons why we're getting such a weak animated series. Like I don't understand. Well, so much potential that mm. we could have dived into politics we've showed we've showcased all of these things mm. politics um the you know, underworld like, yeah all of that man the, the clones how they the feelings bro since when people care about the troopers feelings bro but here's a perfect opportunity exactly. for us to, to to be even more on their side and i just don't understand why we're only getting this now it's mad i actually want to come back to what sam said about oh it would have been sick if every episode someone babied Omega on a ship. Because, yeah, everything that Omega has right now could have been done through that. Like, episode one, oh, we leave her with Hunter on the ship. Hunter teaches her about hunting. Like, they're doing, like, just they're doing homeschooling, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Next, she's with Tech, homeschooling. Wrecker, homeschooling. And then by the end of the season, or, like, to a point like this, when she goes and does stuff, you're like, oh, well, yeah, she's actually been going hard mm. learning this stuff. And it's very similar to, like, what they did in Rebels with um, Kanan and Sabine. Like, when, Sab when Sabine gets the dark saber, her and Kanan go off for two episodes with, um, with Ezra and they train and they train and they train. And it's like, even that, I'm going to say, felt, felt, felt rushed to learn to, like, to, to be proficient with a lightsaber. But Sabine was already a soldier. Mm. So she's actually yeah, just adding, you know what I'm saying? She hasn't got to master it. She's just got to add it to her arsenal. Where it's like, they could have been doing that the whole season. Yeah. And like, really, I feel like putting more respect on Omega, the character, mm. instead of just making her OP from birth. Mm. So, yeah, man, that's fire. Because I was kind of worried at the beginning of the episode, you see Hunter like swearing his face. Yeah, I saw that. Stuff. I thought she was going to be and doing she, that. Yeah, yeah I, I thought, thought she was going to do it instantly. She did it one time, like, any episode she's mastered. I'm like, that's a bit mad. But I'm glad that, nah. <laughs> no <makeup. laughs> but yeah it was like two two episodes like you're saying there's a constant rotation of her just being trained by sid the team someone different hera that would like her knowledge would have been vast legit it, would, it would have made sense that like by the time she's like a young adult yeah. she's actually really running things because she's learned from 
everyone all over the galaxy on a low like two two minutes he's just like yeah next <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, even, level nine thousand. Yeah, even the, even even the directing on this episode, like the way it's like shot. Oh, bro, man. There's this one scene that really stood out to me where um, Greg is running away and he gets shot by a stun, Ooh. a stun gun, and it only hits him in the leg and his leg goes limp. Never seen that before in Star Wars. Never. And I was just like that kind of attention to detail. Like you, like it's plain to see when you man step the levels up. With the episodes, and I just want you man to just do this all the time, innit? I understand it's got to, like kids have got to watch it too, but man, but tell us what's up, man. Bunda kids, man. You get me? What do you say? Yeah, Bunda kids. Yeah, man. Bunda kids, <laughs> bro. bro. Yo, anyway, that's pretty much our review for Bad Batch episode fourteen. Hashtag Bunda kids. Um, but what you lot need to do is subscribe to the damn channel. We're on a road to two hundred thousand subscribers. Hit the thumbs up, share the video, go over to patreon.com forward slash the cybernets and watch the watch along. Support the ting. And yeah, man, other than that, I'm Joe One Further the Cybernerds. Revenue GS. So I missed the blitz We'll see you next time. Peace.